everybody welcome back to my channel so apologies if you can hear my dishwasher but i'm sat on my kitchen floor because this is where i do all my halloween looks and i thought that sabrina carpenter was 100 percent going to be trending this year so let's turn ourselves into her so i've curled my hair i'm gonna brush it out at the end but for now we'll just leave it back there I have already done my skin prep. I've randomly just started breaking out throughout the day, so ignore that. But skincare is on, so let's get on it. But I have done her look before, so I kind of know what I'm gonna do. She's a very glowy, gorgeous queen, so going in with the Lumi Glotion from L'Oreal. It's so annoying because I've had to put my fringe in bang my in bangs in i've had to put my fringe in a roller facing frontwards but it doesn't actually really keep it off your face like it does when you put it backwards because obviously we're trying to create the same um shape fringe as sabrina so hopefully that actually stays off my head um i washed my makeup brushes last night in the washing machine honestly stunning it's so quick and on i think they're actually the cleanest they've ever been but yeah, so going in with the Lumi Glotion and then do, 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 just put that on as a base because I do feel like she is a very glowy, gorgeous goddess. Mm. So it's shit me now then. Uh, no, from Lottie London. So I've got the brow shaping wax from Lottie London and I'm going to go in and just her brows are quite simple they're not really filled in or anything like she's got very similar colored eyebrows to me naturally so i'm just gonna lay them down i feel like everyone loves a little laminated look i might fill in just some areas because they do look a bit sparse but they are literally identical colors so that's cool that i've got the same colored eyebrows as the queen okay looking at her pictures her brows are actually not that sh like strong so i do think i'll actually leave them but I will carve them out. I will go in with foundation in a sec. But I like to just use my concealer to shape right at the beginning. And I did see the other day that um, a girl like left the bit underneath. Foundation. I really want to try the skin tint. Me and my sister were talking about this the other day. But this is really full coverage, which we love to see. I did wash my sponge. It's still a bit wet, but I'm going with it. So we're going into contour. Um, let's do it. She's very round cheek, so I'm going to really emphasise the, the roundness of my cheek. And I'm not going to do a lift because... She is very much a little cutesy, round and girly. Very cutesy. I don't, I don't understand still the demure obsession. Like, is it not just a really random thing? But maybe it's just me. Please don't come for me. Let's just get that down here. So, in cosmetics. I don't know why I said elf cosmetics. Elf in Pinky Promise which is literally one of my favorite shades. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. And blend that out with my sponge. I love how big my sponge is because I washed it last night. Just blend that out. Blush for what is going to go on top. Then I'm going in with my new Elf Camo Concealer. I've got it in Light Peach. Excited to use her. Let's do it. I'm so sorry if you can just hear the washing of my dishwasher, but I've completely forgot I was filming this for YouTube as well. This is literally where I spend all my evenings at the minute on the floor of my kitchen doing these looks. So, normally I don't blend the un like the, the kind of fake contour I give myself too much, but I will be blending her out quite a lot today. So just get rid of my, I say get rid of my spots as the concealer sticks to my spots. Do a bit of spot conceal there. Uh, everyone should comment their favourite Sabrina Carpenter song because when I tell you I'm obsessed with her I absolutely love her I'm so sad I didn't get tickets to see her but you know sorry I was not going to pay £200 um, it is a small fortune 
Love that. And then let's get in that on there. See, I love how this blends. It's an absolute dream and it brightens the face so much. Obviously, we're going to go back in with the powder products. But I really want to pack on that concealer. I feel like I'm going to go over with like a slightly darker concealer. So this is the Arborean Serum. I'm going to go in just again carve out my brows because... I want them to look really snatched. I'm going to actually use a little brush. Oh, I love that all my brushes are clean. And, that, and did I just get that in my eyebrow? Yes. So just going over like that. Do the same on this side. Obviously, this looks crazy right now. Then I'm just going to go in with my sponge. Oh, it actually doesn't look as bad on camera as it does in my little mirror. I've got my corset top on underneath here because that's what i'm gonna wear but oh my god she's so uncomfortable and it did take me a while to get in her but you know here we are so i'm going in with the doll beauty bronzer this is my fave bronzer and just bronzing up the face and then oh nice obviously she is as i've said about 50 times more pink than bronze but i have to have a bit of bronze on the go i think i'm also going to contour my nose and get get this color like right up into the kind of arch of my eye what is this bit called like the crease into your kind of here like i just really want to get that definition ready and we're gonna she's got a very cute button nose so we're gonna really go ham on the nose contour oh lovely just get that done normally i would do this last but i think this just is going with the vibes i actually just got a new shade of the nyx bottom out blushes and i just think this is going to be the perfect blush i've also got the perfect which they actually use on i watched a video of this now we're going to watch me wrestle this open let me find my scissors tell me this is not the perfect Sabrina shades. These are really pigmented, so let's go. Oh my god, she's so perfect. Oh my god, this is gonna be my new fave. Look at her. Oh my god, gorge. Right, so let's get her on. These smell. They literally smell unreal. We've got like mango and shea butter, and I think. So, like this sounds like an ad. I promise you, it's not. But I have bought nearly every shade because they are unreal. So I'm just packing that on. I'm gonna bring it right up under the eye. So you want to get that right up there with whatever's left on literally pack it on get it everywhere this is the level you want and then i am gonna bake but what i'm gonna do is using my blush brush i'm gonna go into my pink highlight and i'm literally gonna pack it on now we're gonna do it before and an after after highlight this time so this is just from makeup revolution and soap but the actual packet is so damaged but this is my favorite highlighter so yeah i'm just packing that on that you already see the the vibes and we definitely need a pink powder for this look so i'm going into the lottie london pink press uh, loose powder and let's i think i just put that right in my eyeball but you know okay so i'm starting by packing that on i'm not blending her out i'm literally not baking even, I'm blending her right in. My brain has died this evening. And then, going back in again, starting and again. Perfect, oh my God, love, love, love. Just gonna keep, keep packing that on and then same under here. But yeah, what is everyone's favourite Sabrina Carpenter song? The ones I really like are... I do like, like, Taste and Please, 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 Espresso, but they did get overplayed. I think Taste is on its way to being overplayed. Uh, but from her album, I love uh, Juno, I love Bed Chem, I love um, Coincidence is a good one. I also have been really liking Dumb and Poetic recently. I wish I could play her. 
so we could all kind of rave but obviously i can't because um it will get copyrighted but okay so the makeup looks are very simple but i'm gonna start this is a made by mitchell milk got milk milk what is this milk palette it's really old now but i'm going into the shade that's called toe beans which is like this kind of pinky neutral shade and taking that on a fluffy brush and we're gonna pack pack it in the crease like it is literally barely barely any color on there but i just feel like she starts off with a really pinky tone underneath in there but anyway now i'm going into my dior palette into the transitional shade which is called my favorite shade in this palette is called warm tan look you can tell because there's no longer dior i printed on her because i have used her so much so anyway going into her and really packing that on in the crease stunning let me actually get up her pick again yeah this looks very glowy she's basically just got all white on her eyelid but i think they they definitely will add this to define her eyes just you know like a hint of contour on the eye but then i'm gonna go i'm literally just gonna go in with the white glitter from again this dior palette and pack that on all over the lid i think i'm generally just then going to use the highlight as the eyeshadow it's actually a really simple look to recreate i'm sure on sabrina it takes hours but at least she's a winged eyeliner girly because you know i am a winged eyeliner girly but then yeah i'm gonna literally take that same highlight actually let me do it on a brush the same highlighter that i literally just used on my face we're gonna use it as eyeshadow oh wow there you go that's what we need look at that let's get that on there she has very simple eyeshadow looks like very very simple so yeah again i'm gonna go back into that toe beans color that's kind of pinky and just pack it on the crease and then blend it down my nose a little bit but obviously she's just a glowy glowy gorgeous girl so yeah we're just getting that highlight it's just going to be the eyeshadow gorge and then where i've been doing halloween looks i've also had to order another highliner which I literally just bought one a few weeks ago but that one is now just reserved for my looks so this is a new one but we can do this for sabrina so she is a winged girly, but she's not a, she's not a fox and she's not, she's very much highlight. Uh, in this picture, she does actually have brown liner in the waterline, which I will also recreate. But she's not like a massive wing girl. So, just get that on there. But she's just very, everything about her is very cutesy, very round let's get that on there i wonder if her and barry are still together i actually think they are i think they just started the rumors for bands well more for clout for the taste song but i also really love that music video bring that down a little bit and again we're just we're going more round than anything else and rub her in the waterland i definitely need to get the inner the inner i just went to sharpen this and it's not even like that this just apparently just broke off the end lol but yes okay right that is in the corner of the eye and then i'm gonna add she's very much literally very similar lashes to me so i'm gonna get them on my face lash glue. so this is just the normally i use the best lash glue ever by unicorn cosmetics but this one i've been liking for my looks which is the duo lash glue but i did cover my face in glitter with it last night so that's fun Do -do -do. right i don't you know what i actually don't think she's a lower oh she is a lower lash 
uh color but not i don't think she's a lower lash mascara girly you know so that's gonna be fun little try out for us so let's blend where's my favorite blending brush hello there you are i've honestly never seen it so clean the middle of it's stained but let's oh my god that feels so nice on the face let's blend her out obviously the highlight was there underneath and i will go back over that but i do think that the powder has just clung to that highlight and made it honestly just give such a nice radiant glow but we will be going back in because pigment is key here so let's get my little lash on she's definitely a kind of outer outer wing lash girly okay now we're rolling with the video i do feel a lot better i was feeling so drained earlier but i'm getting there now we're getting there oh lovely that is nice get that on there and then i think while they just sit there i'm gonna go back in with this highlight really i should have picked a too big a brush go back in with this tiny one and i want to really get in the inner corner like her inner corner is shining brighter than honestly my potential right now so let's get her in there i love how just like funny she is and how she just wants to make a joke out of everything like i really thoroughly appreciate that and then i'm gonna go i'm you know what i'm going back in already with the highlight and you know what i also saw that they put it here on her like underneath obviously she's got a fringe but they like bring it up into the the kind of forehead the forehead area i'm gonna do the same with the blush and then yeah so then when her fringe moves and like you see her from all different angles she's always got that gorgeous pink glow oh my god i can't open it fucking hell oh, there we go so like just want to just like really lightly bring it up here as well see what i mean like that has added such a nice glow and obviously we'll blend with the big fat blend brush but it really has added a good glow and then under her eye it is very very slightly light brown and oh, wait let me actually look at the camera yeah underneath her eye is very light brown so i'm gonna go in with this warm tone brown from dior palette from the dior palette and just run that under there and we'll blend her out with some pressed powder but yeah she definitely has that there and then it's again straight back in with the highlight so let's get that highlight back there on the low i think she only actually has mascara on the outer of her lashes so that's why we can do that we'll just get the highlight there pack her on we love the pigment and i'm just gonna blend underneath the eye i didn't actually even need to use pressed powder because i oh, just have to lose me when he's kissing you right i love how she throws shade at everyone i really appreciate that then I'm going in with my long con mascara, but I've only done the outer lashes because you want. She's very much a doe-eyed girly. Like I'm, or I'm a very siren cat eye girl. She is giving doe, doe a deer, a female deer, as they would say. Obviously, she's got highlight on the nose. Going in with that. That is perfect. You know what? This makeup look it was actually really, really easy and effective. So do you think the girlies are going to love this? Yeah, go in. Back in with that blush highlight combo. I'm really, really packing it in. We need a nice pink lip combo. But I think before I do that, I am going to see what's going on with my hair. So let's have a look under here. I feel like she's a very simplistic um, jewellery girl. Oh, wow. It's getting full frontal fringe right now. Look at that. Oh, my God. And she looks like i have a very big crazy fringe but you know what that's actually not too this this side is going to be the sabrina side and this side is going to irritate me i can feel it but you know we're gonna make it work any hair nude i promise you i'm obviously not nude i mean this is just a corset from amazon that does keep coming undone and it is annoying me but let's just pull her pull her down so it literally looks like i'm new i promise you i'm not so this is the corset we're just gonna move oh see there you go let me if i move you slightly down 
This is, okay, now I can't see my head, but, you know, I'll stand up at the end so you can see. But, actually, no, I won't because I'm in my job. Yeah, I will zoom you out a bit when I am done. But, okay, so we're just ignoring the hair for a sec. Just trying to make her look more like a fringe. This side has gone back to how my hair normally sits, which is kind of annoying. And this side looks like I've, this side is so good and this side really is not. So, okay, we kind of, we kind of got there. Let me just zoom out a little bit so I don't look nude, but you can see my little mirror here as well, but ignore her. But there we go, I feel like that is definitely more the vibe. This is absolute chaos, wait. Okay, so before I do my lip combo, I just tested out what I wanted. I'm going in with this red because before it dries, I want to go. And then, eh. Oh my God, I can't get it on my, on my body. Wait, I'm going to have to go this side. There we go. Oh my God, perf. Ah, if my light didn't die, but what the fuck? That's perfect. I don't want to go over it in case. Okay, well, I can, I can flesh that out. That's totally fine. I need to then go and take this red lip off, but this was so worth it. I'm just gonna flash this out like a tiny bit, but oh my god, could could this have been any more perfect? No! I'm literally gagged. Right, okay, so let's build her out. <gasps> That's literally perfect. We're just kind of I like I'm just trying to over like accentuate it so it's really obvious as fucking lips. But, oh my god, yay, that looks so good. Okay. <gasps> How cute! Oh my god, that's perfect. Okay, did maybe go a bit too far there, but we've done it now. So there we go, little red lip combo. That actually worked so much better than I thought, and it's also on my hand. Woo, cute. Okay. I need to plug my light. My light always does this. It loves, like, the Alex Earl light is so good. Like, it's really handy, but it dies all the time. To the lip combo. Did just test this out before I did the red lip, so I knew which combo I was going to do. So, going in to REM Key Change, which is a gorgeous pink. And I'm going to overline my lip. I feel like this red, I know it's like, obviously I've just covered my lips in foundation. I think it's going to add a good tone to the lip though. And then, because this is really similar to my lip, I'm going to go back in with a brown. Is that? I'm just, yeah, go over it. This is MAC something. I don't know what this is, MAC Spice. And I'm just going to... I just really think that because my lips are unnaturally very pink, some liners do not look good on the lips. So yeah, I'm just going to go over that. Then, going in with Kylie in, I don't know why I just went in and then put up my lip. It's in Diva. It's a gloss. It's like a really gorgeous pinky nude. And then I'm going to go in with... The Lossy London Plumping Gloss, which is stunning. I love it so much. It's so sparkly. It's literally like this highlight but on my lips. So let's go in with her. I think I've got hair on my lip, but we move. Okay, yeah. Okay, well that's looking gorgeous. I think for jewellery, I'm literally just gonna do a really small hoop. Don't think we actually need a necklace because of the fact that, oh yeah, these are these are very, very Sabrina coded, the little heart, um, little heart hoops, which I think she would definitely wear on her tour. And I bet you just arrived at the same time. I bet we'd have really good bed again. Right, okay, so you know what? I think we're actually nearly done. This has been an absolute sleigh. Okay, so let's get the fringe back to how we want her. 
We're just gonna, this side does not want to play ball, but that is better, okay. And then this side of my hair, even though this is like literally the better side of my hair, which is kind of annoying, I will leave, oh my God, this is literally perfect on. This has actually come out better than I even thought. You know what would make it better though? A bit of body glow. So let's go in with that pink highlighter and highlight the collarbone. Oh my God, yes. And kind of near the lip. And then I'll do here. I really need to tan, which is why I look a bit pale, but that's okay. Let's get her here. Oh yeah, look at that. That This is the glow that we needed. We needed it in our lives. And then let's do that. And let's, my lash keeps pinging off, which is annoying me. There we go. So, and I guess we just arrive at the same time. I was gonna wash my hair, you know, but it actually looks so cute, so I might leave it. Um, and then, right the the hair does keep sticking to the lash which is bothering me see look it's like pinging my lash off so we're gonna have to move out of the way of the lash oh yeah that'll have to do but i'm sorry but how gorgeous is this like obviously this top um this with like a little skirt or just like this with like the a white little fr you know the little like frilly shorts that are around at the minute i feel like they would be oh this is a lash they would be the perfect um, thing. This is my spring carpenter look. It's simple, but it's effective. It's doing the job, you know, like if I bring, obviously I would bring my fringe over a bit more for this look. This side is a bit of a flop, but you know, I feel like if you've got curtain bangs, you can, you can kind of make yourself look like you have a fringe and you know, your, your hair is always sister, not twins anyway, so. But how fucking cute is this? I'm actually obsessed. So let me know what you're going as for Halloween. Did you find this helpful? Let me know, honeys, because we love it. But this is just the vibe. So I'll see you in the next video. Love you.